Alright, welcome back to the texturing tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do before we start texturing is put a camera in here so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to zoom out right here. I'm going to come over here to cameras, target. And I'm just going to click in here and drag kind of like what it was in our sketch. Like so. Right click to end it. And then what we'll do is we'll come into our perspective view, click on the middle part so it selects the camera and the target, and pull it up a little bit. And if you want to, you can come over here, right click, hit views, and hit camera 01. Or you can just hit C, either one. Alright, Alt W, we'll select this camera, we'll move it right here. Make sure that it's 35 millimeter. I'm going to bring it up some. And bring it back like this. Let's do a quick render. You can hit Shift Q. And that's what you're going to see. Okay, yeah, that seems seems decent enough. Feel free to do any angle that you want. You know, if you want to see more of this, then move the camera, you know, where you want to see it. But um, I think I'm pretty fine with it right here. That way I get a little bit of the rug, this here, the lamp, and that picture. Yeah, I'm good with that. <coughs> All right, with the perspective views, uh, with the camera view selected, just hit P. That puts it back to perspective. And I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay, cool. All right, on with the colors. What we'll do is we'll go to colorblender.com, bring that up, and then what you'll see is all these palettes. Auto match, direct edit. Auto match is when you start moving these sliders, it's going to start blending colors of red together, um, and you'll get different shades. So we'll pull up the red since I figured I wanted to do burgundy, and you see all of this that it's going through. It's kind of cool. Kind of gives you different blends and what what and what goes together, what matches with it. I come here a lot. We'll bring it up to here. I kind of like I kind of like that. Bring up some green for the love of it. Bring that up. I'm digging this this color right here, and this is a bit bright. If you don't like it, if you like the palette, but you don't like certain um, colors of one, you can change it by going to Direct Edit and come into this one. Kind of take the green out of that and lower this down just a smidge, and it lowers the values. I kind of dig this also, and I'm I'm digging this color because of the rug. You can see the rug. I'm going to play off that on that 45-degree um, angle of our wall. Instead of doing a brick that I had previously thought about, I'm just going to do one solid color. And I'm going to play off this color from the rug. And you see it's not that yellow, but it does, it does go great with it. And these reds go good with it, too. So actually, I'm going to keep that. And what you'll do is you can go over here and copy these RGB values. So you go 132, 24, 0. And um, on the lighter red, you can go 185, 0, 0. And our little mustard color is 209, 143, 0. So cool. And if you like this, you can always come down here and save it. You can name it, save it, and then as long as you've got your cookies, uh, enabled, you can come back here and load it later on. So it's really, it's pretty cool. So let's get out of here. And back in Max, what we're going to do is hit M to bring up the Material Editor. And let's right here. Actually, I'll just go to this slide because I was messing around with this one earlier. Come over here, take this little blue one, and it says Get Material. Come over here and hit Multi Sub Object. I think we had six. Six or seven. Six. I don't remember. I'll just put eight just in case, because you never know. <coughs> so that brings the slots to eight. 
our first one that we named was our floor because our first one we did was first was floor and then s ceiling that I remember three was the uh, corner wall and then the white stripes five was the light red six was the dark red and we'll do it like that so click right here since we're going to be using V-Ray materials we'll go to where it says standard and hit V-Ray material come up here this little uh, box right here beside the fuse go to bitmap we'll look around on our documents for my little place wherever you put yours interior toot and I'll find floor and open it up and there it is and I'll check in, I'll check visible this little box right here so you can see it uh, go up a couple times go to the ceiling ceiling um, we make it V-Ray material and we'll just make it white for now we're not gonna worry about it too much the corner wall standard to V-Ray material click the diffuse box right there so it brings up the color and that mustard color is what we're going with so in the red value we're gonna go 209 one four three zero and there it is close that out our white very material bring it down not too white but you know white enough um, our light red very material and our light red was 18500. Like that. Or should I say bright red? Um, and then our dark red. V ray material. And that was 132240. And that's that. <coughs> so back here close this out and what we'll do is we'll select our interior we'll just call that interior and apply material to selection and you can see the outside of it no biggie hit C and you're back inside hit shift Q to render and there it is looks ugly now because we're not we don't have any lighting or anything like that but no big deal you see the floor is kind of big and what we could do is put a UV map on this or we can tile it um, from inside the material. So bring up the material editor again. Go to where it says floor, M, and in the tiling parameters. Let's, let's make that back to one. And then we'll tile this so that it's a little bit thinner. Let's go three. And there we go. And that's that. And that is the quickest way you could possibly put everything where you want it to be. Not too bad, huh? So the next thing what we're going to do is texture our coffee table and our uh, end table. So bring up M, and this one right here will be um, black. Um, I don't want to just say furniture because it's all furniture. We'll just say black tables. Um, I actually have a material that I like to use, so I'll bring it up, but I'll show you how to how to make it. Material library, I could say called Black Furniture. I made it. And it's basically just a, I made a V-Ray material, went to standard, clicked it, and hit V-Ray material, come over here, made this almost dark black, but not really, just a little lighter, 37 you can see. Reflection, just a smidge on the high glossiness uncheck this if you have to so that you can move this down to 0.64 reflective glossiness down to 0.89 subdivisions are at 8 you can bring the subdivisions up if the material actually has any more noise um, than you would want it's just a standard blend and you can see everything else is pretty much the same so what I'm gonna do is select the coffee table and the end table and just take that black material and assign it to there. Now what we're going to do is hit P for perspective and I'm going to zoom in on this. 
close that out right quick while I do that. I'm going to open this, select, I'm going to open it. Actually, I'm going to select the bottom part of it, the lamp base. Um, and let's let's use the same black furniture material. How about that? Or let's not. Hmm. Let's not. Let's actually come over here. Standard V-Ray material. And let's make it black, but not as black. So that we do see a difference. We'll go ahead and add that to the base. Um, reflective properties. Just down a smidge. And knock these down as well. Not too much. Like that. Actually, I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm going to lock that and just select that. Bring it up like that. You can even hit for now reflections if you wanted to. But I think we'll, we'll deal with that. Call that lamp the shade what we'll do is we'll 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 have it lit how about that um so let's go mm, get material i think select this again go to new and no that's wrong go to standard and go to v-ray light material we'll leave it set as one and we'll apply it to the lamp shade this what this material is, is it automatically uh, emits light. So that's fine. We'll leave that as it is. Come over here to our picture. M. Come over here. Picture. Standard V-Ray material. Bitmap. And let's bring that up. <coughs> You know, I probably say the guy's name wrong who did this. Um, but, you know, who cares? <laughs> he died a long time ago. And just the fact of you still acknowledging him, you might want to look to see if his name is pronounced that way. I pronounce his way, his name, Kabougier. Just sounds fun. But I think it's it's pronounced a different way. So <laughs> either way, you get the point. Um, okay, now that we have that, let's do our rug. Come over here, hit rug, standard V-Ray material, bitmap, and our rug. Apply it to that and check it so we can see it. Looks good. All right, it's on there pretty good. What's left? Let's make some chrome material. And remember, don't forget to fix these vertices on that chrome. Standard V-Ray material. Diffuse, we're going to go straight black. Reflection, big time. Click If you don't see anything, click this little checkerboard thing right there, and it shows you exactly what it's reflecting, and it's reflecting everything. We'll call this Chrome. Chrome base, since that's still open, we'll apply it to there. This, and we'll apply it to there. I think that's about it. I know that it, oh yeah, it has this part right here too. Apply it to that. It's got other legs down here. Just in case you do it from a different angle. Um, Apply it wherever you need to. Okay, we'll ungroup this or we'll open it. Select that. Apply it to that. Apply it to that. Kind of get under here. Select that leg. Apply it to there. And apply it to that leg. Cool deal. All right, this black furniture, what I'm going to do, since I like the reflective properties of it, I'm going to just drag it to this slot right here. And I'm going to name this Chairs. And we 
with that. I'm going to just, let's see, how about this? I'm going to just do this, close, and I'm just going to apply it to the whole darn thing. And then what I'll do is come back and redo the, uh, I'll come back and redo the Chrome because what that does is this will select, if you select everything and apply, it's going to do the these arms also. Um, if I just make the furniture, if I just brag, if I drag this to this, it won't get the seam. It'll just get the cushion, and I want it to get the seam also. So what I'll do is I'll just color the whole thing black, then come back to my Chrome, open it up, select this, control select this, control select this, and you get the point, and I'll just redo it with the Chrome. Now you will have to adjust the, uh, the properties and the settings of this new one because it's not going to be the same as the furniture. You can also put a leather bitmap in the bump slot to give it a nice texture. So open this. Control select this. My goodness. This leg right here. And this leg right here. And there we go. Hit C for the camera. And Shift Q. And there is everything. Cool deal. So what we're going to do next, if my cat would shut up, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, what we're going to do is light the scene and render it out. So everything pretty much is textured and ready to go. All we got to do is add our lights, mess with some settings, render it out, and we should be straight up. So I'll see you in the next tutorial, and uh, take care.